In this video, we are going to see how we can format the date selected from the jQuery UI date picker the way we want. That is, by default, the date selected from the jQuery UI date picker will be displayed in a specific format. But we can change the format using date format option. We are going to see how we can display the date selected in the required format. So for that, I have created a basic HTML5 document. I have also added references to the jQuery UI files. This is the jQuery UI.css file and this is the jQuery UI.js file and this is the basic jQuery file. Next I am going to add a title. I am adding it as format date. Next we have to add the date picker. How will we add it? We have to add an input element and then attach the date picker method to it. So for that input type equals text and let me add an id. id equals say calendar. Next we need to add the script section. So script type equals text or javascript. To use the jQuery we need to first write the document dot ready function. So dollar document dot ready and within parenthesis function again parenthesis and then curly braces we need to attach the date picker method to this element. So I am going to access the element first. How will we access it? We are going to access it using its id. So dollar hash hash because we are going to access it using its id. Calendar we need to add the date picker method. Date picker. Now this has become a jQuery UI date picker element. Let's check it. Save. Refresh. See, this has become a date picker. And I'm going to select a value. Let me select the date 1st February 2015. So, how are we getting the date? It is 02 is the month, that is Feb. 01 is the date, and 2015 is the year. So we are getting the date in the format mm slash dd slash yyyy. Suppose I want to display the date in the format say dd mm yy. So how we can change it? Here we can use the date format option. So here inside the method let me add the curly braces as I am going to specify the option. The option name is date format, date format. Next we have to specify the format within double quotes. So let us see which all formats we can use. Here in the official website of jQuery UI, you could see the different format options that you can use. Suppose we use D, it will be displaying the day of the month without any leading zero. What does it mean? Suppose you select first, that is the first Feb 2015, then the date will be displayed as 1, that is without any leading 0. But if we use DD format, then the date will be displayed as 01. That is, if you select a date with a single digit, then it will attach a 0 at the beginning to make it a 2 digit value. Instead, if you select D, then if you select the date first, then it will be 1 itself, not 0, 1. And if you select 21, it will be displayed as 21. It will not cut any value. Next, O will be used to display the day of the year. For example, if you select Feb first, then the value will be 32 because it is the 32nd day of the year. Feb first is the 32nd day of the year. And this is to display without any leading 0 and if you want to display the value in 3 digits that is 0, 0, 001 or 0, 0, 
2 or 0 32 like that then you have to add O O. Then D is to capital D is to display the day name in short that is Sunday Monday values will be displayed uh, in short that is Sunday will be displayed as S U N M O N T U E S like that and D D is to display the value completely that is Sunday will be displayed as Sunday itself. Then small m is used to display the month of the year without any leading zero that is February will be displayed as 2 and not 0 2 and mm is to display the month of the year in two digits and capital M is used to display the month name that is January February it will be displayed as Jan February will be displayed as Feb like that and mm is to display the month name completely and y is to display the year in two digits and yy is to display the year in four digits so let's try to use a combination of these values and display the date in different formats so we have seen the default format is mm dd and yy so let's try to change it to another format that is dd hyphen mm hyphen yy yy itself will display the value year value in four digits so let us see how the value is now getting displayed i'm going to select the same feb first here also so refresh feb first see you are seeing it in the format dd mm yy format suppose you want to display it in another format I have copied some formats here like this that is yy this is mmdd so let's check it yy mmdd now if i select feb first it will be yy mm and dd format next another format is using dot this is dd mm yy not yy it is only two digits so y so let me change the format like this dd mm y because i want it i want the year in two digits refresh see i am getting dd mm y that is year in two digits next let us try to display this one that is mm sorry dd then this is the month value in full string that is capital mm and this is yy so dd space capital mm space yy so let me change it like that dd space capital mm space yy refresh select the date see 0 first 0 1 February because we have specified MM in capital and 2015 and yet another format is like this we can display suppose I want to see the day of the year so how we need to specify it we have to specify it in O as we have seen here that is O will display the day of the year without any leading zeros. So I am making it O and going to check how it will appear. Refresh. I am going to select 1st February. So what should be the value? It will be here there are 31 days and this is the first day of the Feb month. So it will be 32. See the value is 32 suppose i select december 31st what will be the value it will be 365 see we are getting 365 now suppose i want to see the day of the week then how should we display the value let us check it here we can see to display the day it should be dd so I am going to display it in this way that is dd space then dd space mm space yy yy 
So let us see how the value is getting displayed. Refresh. See Sunday 01 February. We are not able to see the value completely. So let me add the size to text box. Size equals. Let me add the value 50. And let me change this to D. That is without any leading 0 I want the value. And refresh. Select a value. See Sunday 1 February. Okay, I have added here YYYY. Okay, YY and refresh. Suppose I select Sunday, first Sunday 1 February 2015. So, like this, you can try many different combinations of these possible formats to get the value, and you need to specify it using the option date format. So in this video we have seen how we can format or how we can display the selected date in the required format using the date format option.